the annual deer drives are a great time and it really keeps our families and our friends together. People that would normally drift apart come together that one time a year to get together just to deer hunt, to do drives. And it's really become a tradition in our family and it's a real tradition in Wisconsin to do deer drives. And it's exciting to watch um, your friends and stuff through hunting grow. It's fun to watch people get their best bucks, to get their first bucks, to see the excitement in their eyes when we do these drives. It's more about a group effort. You know, every time somebody gets a buck on these drives, it's like everybody got that buck. And it's a good time to put meat in the freezer for those of us who've been passing does all bow season. It's time for us to take a couple. I like to invite people from outside our area to come and experience this type of hunt. And this year, uh, we decided to invite Zeke Outdoors and have a young person along to experience Wisconsin with his father. Opening morning, we got Eric over here, Killa over in the corner, and we got Zeke and Zeke's dad up in a grass field. And we're gonna push this little section here. Been a lot of deer in here this year. I seen a real big eight pointer in here, another eight pointer in here that was okay. A lot of does. So what I wanna, wanna do is I wanna put two people down this. I jumped a couple deer in here last time I was in here, right along this edge, right just barely into here. And uh, I wanna put two people on my side, which normally we do this with three people and it doesn't yeah. get done effectively. Right. Some get through. I think with four, we're gonna do this really well. But uh, I expect there's gonna be some shooting. Let's get him. Yeah. Yep. Huh? Revenge tour. Eric says he wants revenge on not getting a shot all year. <laughs> yeah. You too, I feel right? the same way. So first drive, uh, Killa is uh, earning that name again. I heard him shoot when we were pushing right away as soon as we started. So we're making our way over by him. I don't know what he's got. First drive, <clears throat> standing a little bit farther back from a uh, from a trail, and uh, you guys started pushing, um, and uh, everything went quiet. And I heard a little bit of a snap of a of a branch, and. Uh, I did one of these. I was like, oh, maybe it's nothing. And I did it again, and then I saw a buck starting to run a little bit up towards me, a little bit cautious. And uh, he got up to me, and he stopped right in the clearing, um, facing me. And How he, close? Maybe 15 yards. Yeah, he's pretty close. Yeah, and he went <laughs> and turned to run, and I didn't give him a chance, and uh, just blew him away. Yeah. yeah. What are you using for a weapon? 20 gauge. Yeah, that's a perfect yeah. close range weapon. Yeah, I love the iron sights. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Well, cool. Uh, that was a beautiful buck. Yeah, for my first one. Yeah, mm -hmm. cool. And that's where you shot your first deer, too. Yeah, it was across the street from that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. That tree's gone. Yeah, that one's been dead for a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very yeah. cool. Awesome. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, we noticed when uh, we walked up to it um, before we started gutting it, and we rolled it over that um, there was a scab over here. And uh, we thought it must have been, must have been stuck with an arrow, and and the broadhead just got broken off and, and stuck inside there. All right, so we're on to our second drive of the day. Um, we just got dealt with uh, Luke's buck, so that's all taken care of. Um, we're just smalling and we're pushing another really small piece of property. There's a there's a tree line up here that should hold a lot of good deer. Um, Dan's taking a ladder back into cattails out here. And uh, we'll put Zeke and James up by this tree up here. So they'll have nice shooting down into the swamp, but also at anything that comes running across this grass field. Um, and we haven't decided yet if we're going to have you stand or, I've never, I or have if not, Dave wants to stand. I have not hunted this one yet. Okay. I've never done this one. Yeah, I haven't either, actually. So, But it's pretty self-explanatory. If you look at it on the map, it's pretty um, kind of know where they're going to be. Well... That's a first. 
bright eye and a cattail. <laughs> Those guys are up on here in the grass. I see Zeke and Zeke's dad there. The other guys are gonna go around here and they're gonna push this stuff this way. I'm gonna get my ladder and I'm gonna sit right up into this tree here. And hopefully if something runs through here, I got it. If it runs that way, those guys got it. Hopefully there's something in there to shoot. We'll see what happens. We've never done this one before. A lot of big sign. Over there, I, I saw some fresh rubs that were really big and really high up. And this all looks like good bedding tangle. I went in here looking for a spot to bow hunt, hunting blind uh, a couple weeks ago, and I jumped two deer in here. I don't know what they were, but jumped two deer in here. So, piqued my interest. So nothing on that one. Nothing. I didn't see any broken ice. There was a lot right here. Some deer had come through here in the morning, but they went into the private where we can't hunt. Yeah, I can see how they could run the the points just like a little bit. A lot of the deer hole up just past where you guys can start onto the private. Yeah. You said you heard one kick over there? Yeah, along that, that willow tree line out there. Yeah. It is what it is. I thought we'd kill something here, but yeah, there's a lot of signs. Yeah, off to the off to the next killing ground. Yeah. All right, I found a tree back here. It's not ideal, but I got shooting for a little ways around me, and I think the bedding is right over here. And they're gonna push this this way. Third piece of property today that we're driving. Nothing on the second drive. We're uh, got Dave and Jeff and um, Luke out here and we're just kind of wedging um, this piece of property. It's really thick as you can see. Holds a lot of really good bedding. Uh, we are definitely moving deer in here every year that we drive this. Jason is in a much better position. He's right over here. For whatever reason, there's a ton of sign going through there now. So, uh, I don't know if they stay in cover and come over here, I might have a shot. But it looks like he's gonna be in the shooting window, but uh, we'll see what happens. We've got uh, Zeke and Zeke's dad up on that hillside over there. And uh, I don't know what to expect, but I know there's deer in there. So we'll see what comes out. Probably a lot of it's gonna scoot out the sides where we can't shoot it, but uh, we'll give her a try. There's um, a lot of coyotes in here too. So if I see one of those, that will be firing. It's so hard to stay in line with the other guys. You can't see anything. Eventually, you kind of have to weave through this stuff to get through some of it. Eventually, you do bump into somebody at some point, but... I didn't get it on film, but I got a coyote, dropped him. Right in that little opening over there. <laughs> One down. There he got a shot. It sounded like uh, Dan shooting, but it can't be positive. And look what uh look what Dan shot. Yoke down. You will no longer be harassing uh the deer. I was talking about it on film this whole time. I wanted to shoot one of them. But at least somebody did. Yeah. Oh, you like this nasty tree. <laughs> I can see why you set up here, though. I walked through the thickest of the thick. Mm -hmm. You guys jumping anything? I didn't so, hear anything move. So you just got the dog, you got the doggy, huh? We're on our next drive. The guys are gonna start way back and they're gonna make their way this way. We had to wait till some guys were done hunting in here to come in. 
They're gone now. We did another drive, we got a coyote, no deer. Now we're gonna do this one, we'll see what comes out. Got Jeff across from me over here. He's done very well over there. Two years ago, he got a one antler buck over there. And uh, uh, my son James got the biggest buck we ever did drives on over there. And we'll see what happens. It's a good spot. It doesn't always pay off. But there's a lot of guys in here this morning, so I have no idea, but there's a lot of tracks and sign too. Fourth drive of the day. This is all really good bedding in here. Buck bedding that is. Um, when this grass is green, it all uh, stands pretty tall as you can imagine. And uh, these bucks find these little holes. There's a shot. It sounded like Dan. I don't know what's going on, but the guys in the private land drove up by Jeff and looks like they're having a word with him. He's on the public. But uh, at the same time, somebody back here in the drive shot, I think. Either that or it was Zeke and Zeke's dad. But, uh, I don't know what's going on over there. We'll see if something comes popping out. I just got a text from Zeke. He says it was a doe. During the drive, a big buck jumped up right between Luke and Eric and got in front of Eric, and Eric took aim. You got a dead deer? Is it freshly killed? It's a doll? I think he went straight up to where Jeff is at. Yeah, and then he, he circled out this way and went up that way. We'll just finish out this drive. I marked the spot. Yep, it did. Crap. I feel like I had to have hit him with at least one. Just a barrage of shooting coming from the drivers, so get ready. <laughs> oh, there's one. Nice buck. Went across the road with no shot. Stayed on the private land. Oh, jeez. That was a good buck. I can see the antlers all the way from over here. Looks like they didn't get it unless there's a blood trail going across the road. Yeah. Poor Jeff couldn't get a shot at that one. The buck was moving slow and looked injured, but it was 10 yards onto private property, and Jeff couldn't fire. A short time later, Another buck popped out. It's amazing how tight that uh, buck held. Well, spooked me a little. It sounds like uh, Jeff is firing away here. Maybe that buck worked its way back in. I don't know. Maybe it's a different buck. Maybe it's a doe. Maybe it's a coyote. Jeff just got one. I saw him drop it. Let me get the camera on in time. So that one came running out of the cattails, went right underneath him. It looked like it was point blank when he shot it. Right underneath him. And you come up here, we're gonna drive the other way. Oh, from there? Yeah. Okay. I gotta check at some point to see if I hit that buck. We're gonna, we're, before we leave, we're gonna check. Yeah. I think he did. You think he so? He's not running like 
Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I felt like he wasn't high. Yeah. He was wide. Yeah, I, I noticed he, he was wasn't tall. He was more kind of like lumbering. He wasn't tall, but um, I definitely had a feeling that um, it, it, he was decent, but man, he was in some thick crap. I had him in the scope and yeah. I fired a few. Then he would get behind some crap and then I had to find him in the scope again. I have a sneaking hunch he may have popped him, but he made it. Who I couldn't even where? get a shot because he stayed on the dirt. Oh. And then he squirted onto the road, like right in line with that willow. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I had him in my scope. Gotcha. The whole time. You just can't shoot him on the private. Right. All right, so I took a few uh, cracks at a buck. Jeff, um, Jeff saw it come out of this thick stuff and uh, he said it looked like it was hit. So I'm gonna go back and check for blood, but what do we have here, Jeff? Got me a buck. <laughs> mm, a big body. I don't even know what the... Nice. Oh my what God, this is my biggest. Really? Honest to God. Oh, dude, congratulations. Look at this. That's awesome. Dude, he's a good one. Look oh, at this that's cool one. Stuff, Jeff. <laughs> this is awesome. It's been a heck of a uh, day for you and your kid, huh? Yeah. This it's is awesome. Yeah, he's a good one. No doubt. I, I, he's a 10 pointer. I, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Lost for words, I right? Am. I've been hunting a long time. Oh my gosh. And, uh, that is so well, this cool. isn't like a booner. It's my biggest. Uh, it's I a love great it. buck. It's a great buck. No question about it. Look at he's even got uh, little kickers coming off of his brows a little bit. You see that? Yeah. Holy smokes, man. Congratulations, dude. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> That's awesome. Team effort, man. We showed up, walked the ladder all the way down, discovered there's a guy on the adjacent land. We decided to push another area. Came wait till he leaves. Wait till he leaves. <clears throat> Push that area. Dan got a nice coyote. Uh, came back here. The guy was gone, so we set up. I set up in a typical ladder spot. Dan set up across the bowl in his uh, tree. The three or four guys were back pushing. Eric, Luke, Zeke, Jason. And uh, waiting around. The guys on the adjacent land decided to make a run down on their UTV and kind of complained that I was in the ladder next to the land, but they were kind enough to drive back to their house. They kicked a bunch of deer when they, they did that. They uh, kicked about six, six of deer them. out uh, that probably would have kicked out to us with our drivers. Yeah, but they did go by Zeke and Zeke got one. Yeah. Or Zeke, Zeke's dad. Zeke got a shot at one of them. Zeke's dad did. Um, and then it was quiet for a while. Then after a few minutes, here's some shooting quite a bit. And I look to my left, and there's a pretty wide buck coming, uh, spread way outside the ears. Not real tall, but he stayed on the private land in what was yeah, the cornfield or soybean field. It really would have been an easy shot for it you. It would have. He was coming right at me. I saw him from my tree, and uh, he was pretty big. He was pretty big. Big body, big rack, real wide rack. Um, but he stayed on that land, and I had my scope up on him the whole time, hoping he'd come across. Mm -hmm. But then he veered. Staying on the Did you ever try hauling, holler and come over here? No, no, no. I mean, you gotta try you know, yeah. unorthodox things sometimes. Yeah, it was happening pretty fast. Yeah. I wasn't thinking that clearly. Yeah, you gotta think fast, man. Um, and then he veered up this tree line, but stayed on the private land side of it. I watched him go up over the road, lost him in the field across the way. So Eric had uh, winged a bunch of shots at yeah, him. And we found a little bit of blood. We don't know what happened. Eric's over asking the private landowner if he can and go after And when I watched it. him, he was running, but he looked more like he couldn't full run it. Yeah, he wasn't speed. running full out. Mm -mm. It almost like he was lumbering and struggling to run. So I was thinking maybe he would hit. And then changed my focus back to where the drivers were. And I saw a couple of them off in the distance. And then... I noticed some movement off to my left and there's this buck coming right up on a red brush brush line. Same same brush line that we usually get a deer coming around. And he was bounding towards me and I waited, he got closer across where I knew it was public land and got the crosshairs on him and took one shot and he was down, went down uh, in his bounding. And I think I missed him. Second shot though, I hit him right in 
spine broke the spine went through the looked like the liver and he dropped pretty much where i hit him mm. it was a one shot took him down he is uh certainly my biggest buck i've ever shot mm -hmm. um, you had quite a day because your son got a nice buck too and it's his biggest buck too and luke that was luke's first big first buck and his biggest buck <laughs> so <laughs> so you the trudell family is having a did, hell of a we time did well today yeah we did very well today we found it a long time and we've been doing this I don't know, Dan. Yeah, it's getting good again. I mean, if we go back to like 2000, we used to have years like this. Yeah. And uh, what happened was that CWD to kill all the deer. Yep. They're starting to come back. Yep. Yep. And it was a, uh, it was a team effort. I mean, we all, we all take turns driving and suffering, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And uh, eventually, everybody gets a chance at shooting, um, and sometimes it pays off. Right. Yeah. And uh, this is a good one. They're very nice. Yep, pretty happy with it. Yeah, you should hang that one on the wall. That one is gonna be addition to the family. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Good time, good time with the Beast crew. Always a good time. Yeah. We'll feel it tomorrow, but it's okay. Yeah. Gotta push more tomorrow. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> Some of us. We still need you. Yeah. You still gotta help. Okay, I'll take my uh, vitamins tonight. <laughs> <laughs> And Luke and I had been working our way, kind of wedging that, that thick brush with bedding there. And we had a buck get up just as I had walked past them. Um, he was behind me actually before he decided to get up, but I heard him get up and I did see him. And I got some shots off at him. And then looking later, we found a little blood. So I know I did hit him, but it ran off into to private. And um, I went over there to ask for permission uh, and they did not grant me permission, so I wasn't able to go look for that buck. Yeah, it's a shame because uh, I'm assuming you shot it fatal because there's some blood spray, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, that's the law. I mean, you can't go over there if they won't let you. Right. Yeah, it's, it is what it is, I guess. So the drivers uh, found uh, Zeke's dad's deer. Did you shoot that or Zeke shoot it? I shot it. That's an awfully big doe, holy cow. Pretty good shot. He was hunting over there. It kind of ran up the hill, which threw him off. But it turned this way, and then the blood trail just comes right down back into here. So that's a big doe. That's a real big doe. You can mount antlers on that thing. Wow. Boy, hi. Uh, for as fast as it was running at 80 yards sideways through the trees, I'm proud of that shot. That's a pretty good shot. That's like perfect. That thing was running dead when it crashed here. Could have done it without you. <laughs> You're my spirit animal. Well, it's all the work. Yeah. Well, Zeke, uh, we're going to head back. Uh, what? We're going to head back. We'll leave this to you. We're going to go get something to eat. You going to field dress that, Zeke? I'll give you my knife and then we'll leave the sled for you. Does that seem right? <laughs> yeah. It ain't easy being beastie. Now, we have guys driving these cattails out here, pushing out this way. So, I'm on post here where Jeff was, was sitting, and then, um, I'm not sure who's up in the stand there. I can't really tell from this distance, but Let's see what happens. So after that drive, um, we just left the deer laying where it was and had uh, the stand or, or the drivers get up in the stands and we went to the back to the parking lot and pushed this little five acres back to these guys.
Well, that was nuts. Well, we got a full rest of the day getting uh, deer out. It sounds like a crap load of deer ran out because everybody was shooting over there quite a bit. But, uh, oh, there goes another one. <laughs> wow, we're putting some deer up out of here. So hopefully we got some more down. One would think with all this shooting. There's Eric over there on the ladder now and he shot uh, two different times. Whoever's in my stand shot. Well, here comes Dave. He sat in uh, my stand when I went around to drive. We got a little bit of blood where he shot. I couldn't fight hardly any, but I followed the blood trail as best I could. And I looked up and I saw it laying right there. All right. All right. I know you had a, like, you're on like a vengeance tour from not getting anything for a while. That's right. <laughs> yeah, it's probably uh, like Swiss cheese. <laughs> <laughs> well, get your deer, drag it out and get it dressed. And Sounds good. I'll go see what they got going on. All right. I'll get my stand and then go over there. Good deal. We got a, we got a drag like four of them on it. We're probably done for the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we're done for the day. Um, crap. Do you want me to go run and grab the sleds? Um, well, the road's right here. I'm sure you want to. So, I'm sure you want to dress it first, right? Yeah, I'll get them gutted up, and um, we're gonna drive this section of swamp here. It's a pretty big section, but we've we've had some luck here. Um, Jason's gonna handle the ladder here. He's gonna go in right here, and the rest of us are gonna push. And we got uh, Zeke and his son are gonna be in a, a field over here, and Jeff's gonna push with us too. But he's uh up on the uh, hilltop over there waiting for us because we're going to push a little section of grass in here first see if there's anything in it on the way because it's right along the way but this should be fun first one of uh day two yep you guys should ready to rock I'm, I'm touching luke for good luck because he got a buck yesterday yeah i was so excited about today i just slept out here i was right here the guys woke me up when they got here <laughs> but uh the, the the thing we're doing now we got what at least two deer out of last year i think three Mm -hmm. Right, we had uh, two does and I uh, got the world's smallest six pointer last year. Yep. We might actually have to drag you out on the cart this year with your bum leg. It's not doing good. <laughs> it's doing better today, though. It's doing better today. Let's rock. All right. I found some sign. Here's some blood right here. Oh, wait, what is this? Looks brand new. It's still got the plastic. Oh, it's got an extra blade in it or something. Mm. Looks like that guy no longer has the outdoor edge. Yeah, it's got uh, blood and meat in it, so it's probably whoever left the blood trail on us. Mm -hmm. Nice. Should come across a gut pile pretty quick. Get a new knife. <laughs> pocket in it. <laughs> yeah, put it in your pocket before he changes his mind. <laughs> you, know, you know that that's theft, right? What? That's theft. It's theft. Remember I got accused of that? Finding a knife on Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> we found a knife that had been out for over a year and people were like, he stole that. That was somebody oh, else's. Really? Yeah. This is where somebody got a deer the year before. Uh, just hold on to it for safekeeping. Yeah, yeah. Just walk up to everybody you see, did you lose a knife? Did you lose a knife? We'll put it at the lost and found at the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. I don't know of any public land lost and found. Right. I look at it like this. You know, I lose a lot of stuff. I find a lot of stuff. It kind of equals out in the end. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah, there's Could a lot of cameras out way. in the woods somewhere. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot, a lot, of, a lot of stuff out in the woods. Uh -huh. I lost a monocular one. Like going through some real tight, brushy junk, and I didn't notice until I got back to the truck in dark. I'm like... I'm not going back to find that thing. <laughs> so they're gonna push this stuff to that island, push that island over to that corner, which is where Jason is on the ladder. And then uh, Eric's gonna run around and push a little bed area over there. And then we got Dave in a tree over there. And we got uh, Zeke and Zeke's dad in some grass over there. Um, unfortunately, there's a pretty beat trail back here and there's a gut pile right there. So I'm hoping nobody drove this before us. I'm hoping they just sat out here and shot one. But uh, we'll see what happens. Just making my way into the island here. Oh, I am right up against the lake. This stuff has really been, uh, this ain't so bad right here. Just back a little ways. I'm surprised that I survived. It was, uh, it was wet. Some of the stuff that uh, 
you can fall through to your shoulders. Something was laying down here at one point, not recent, but right up against the lake again. And this really looks uh, like some pretty heavy bedding too. Yeah, look at that. Look how just sunk down all this is. Something good was bedded here at some point. All right, drive number one done. How many we get? You guys get any? No. Jeez, I thought you guys would shoot everyone you saw. You probably did. I was just gonna say that. Just shoot everyone you saw. Say in Dan's words, yeah, <laughs> every deer I saw. So my son's friend uh, Joe went out with a uh, crossbow opening day. Um, first time really hunting. Mm -hmm. He just wanted to try it. And that was on the same piece of property. Yes. So we didn't even know they were hunting there. And he uh, he shot a deer and he called my son because he doesn't know anything about tracking or anything. My son went out there to help him track. They tracked it 50 or 60 yards from his tree into an opening and there's a gun hunter field dressing the deer at the end of the blood trail. And uh, they, they walk up and James is like, hey, that's is that our deer? I mean, we got a blood trail here and they're like, nope, we shot it. And there was no gunshot. They shot it at first light and nobody shot from then on. And uh, the guys were talking to him and one guy grabbed the deer and ran to his truck, like dragging it really fast and got it out of there. And then they, uh, I was like, well, maybe it wasn't the deer or whatever, but they went on a rut report and the guy was on there bragging about taking the deer from well, and, but we actually crossed paths with that yeah, guy. Yeah, we did, and they were acting we really in, weird. Right? We didn't even know anything about this, yep. but we ran into those guys, and uh, they left all their equipment and stuff out there and ran to town to get this deer in the locker and away from, like, James and Joe, mm -hmm. and uh, then came back, mm -hmm. and they were, they were acting really sketchy. Yeah, um, something seemed a little off. But, I mean, I can't believe uh, grown-ass men would take deer from young guys like that, mm -hmm. especially a kid's first deer with a crossbow or whatever. Yeah, but they're they, on uh, what they posted online was that these guys shot the deer, but the law says the first one to it, and the law does. First one to it gets the deer. But I think they actually have to shoot at it to, for that to be the truth. I don't think you can just go pick up a dead deer you find. Yeah, that's, that's not morally correct. That's not ethically correct any way you look at it. Yeah, it's just a shame. But, you know, you know from a standpoint of... Uh, hunters and ethics I, I mean and it's easy for me to say this but uh you got to be able to just walk away from that stuff I mean there's bad people everywhere and, and it's just a deer and it was just a doe I mean just let them have it you know and it can be on their conscious um but on the other hand you know as an ethical hunter there's no way I would take a deer from especially a kid that's this is first deer knowing that because they told him that um but not from anybody period I mean it was just a Law or not, I mean, there's the laws are there because they solve arguments. They're not there because that's the moral or ethical thing to do. Um, you got that within you. It's not a matter of just following the law. Right, right. It's looking pretty good here. I mean, there's some pretty heavy trails going out here. They weren't here last year. Zeke and Zeke Stan are over there. They're going to go out to that island where uh, uh, Dave used to go when he was still alive. And uh, Jeff Trudell is going to go out there on a ladder. And all those guys are gonna line up and push this way. And uh, we'll see what happens. Usually there's some deer in here. You got a deer here. You can see water kicked up on the cat bills. You can see tracks. I don't know where those other guys are, if they're on the island already or... I am on the trail of a deer. I can see water splashing up. Get to a point like this and you can lose them in a hurry. Could have taken any one of these six trails in here. The biggest bucks we shoot on these drives often just sneak around the drivers. Wow, well, there's, yeah, there's water kicked up on the cat right here. Sure enough, this thing did take this back door. And it probably snuck right out. One 
came from around back here. Yep, I, I followed the tracks right in here. It backed door to us. Then it went and started splashing back that way. We never seen it, we only heard it. Okay. It actually came right through here. And it must have hit the edge of that behind the brush and walked straight out. I, I, I followed its tracks right up onto the island here. Okay. Yeah, he backed toward us. Well, that was a dud. Uh, I heard a deer in between me and um, Jeff, who's on the ladder, and uh, the guys were were hopping one around in there, and it was going around in circles in there, and finally snuck around the island. And uh, we had Zeke's dad heard it go through the water, I guess. And yeah, yeah. That, there's two sides of the island, and you can't cover them both. You can't cover both of those tips, and you they, can out of a tree. It's just you can't. Yeah. I think you could cover both. Maybe out of a tree, yeah. yeah. But in any case, it wound up skirting them, and that was that. Yeah, just is what it is. Yep. So we're going to just um, walk this stuff towards the guys. It's a real tiny strip. Every now and then some stuff comes out of it, but not expecting much until the next drive, but we're going to make our way back. Might as well as walk it on our way back. Yep. See what happens. Hey, you see this? Yeah. Somebody needs to take care of these beavers. Come here and look at this. This giant white oak, he killed it. Wow. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. Look at that oak over there. Wow. Yeah, let's finish this drive. Oh, pretty sketchy stuff over here. We're gonna get close for a little bit because I gotta get uh, in from this uh, crap. I just put a boot through. Yeah, I mean, it's really bad right here. Right. Top of the hill. Where was it? It was running down over by the cattails over there. And um I I shot it and it was running pretty fast and now we're gonna go look for it. You think you got it? it. Mm, I don't know. I just put it where it was running and lined and shot it and aimed ahead of it, and when I saw it in the scope, I shot. Okay, all right, good, well, good luck. So we'll we'll go up and surround the area, and then you guys can go in. Okay. That's Looks clean. like you missed, huh? Clean mess. Followed it up for a couple hundred yards, no blood. Yeah. Lucky deer. <laughs> it survived. So show us how serious these drives are. <laughs> you too can do this. Be all you can be. Be all you can be. You know what I would do? I would take the path of least resistance. Right. That's why <laughs> well, you say that and you got a scratch right down your neck. I can see from here. That's from a cattail, actually. A cattail. You know what's actually dangerous is them cattails in your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. You got safety glasses. I should. I'm gonna stand around this when we went way back into the middle of the swamp. We got this cattail patch in front of us here. This spot I know holds some good deer. Getting them to come out and come past us is gonna be the trick. And now the wind is going a little wrong, but I got uh, Jason and the poplars up there, and I got Zeke and Zeke's dad over there in the corner. And Jeff is covering the top in case one kind of back doors. And the guys are gonna drive this down like this. To us, there's only three drivers. There's a good chance deer get through them. But there's also a good chance one just comes popping out this way. So maybe a long shot, but I know there's some big stuff in there, so we'll give her a shot. Uh, I didn't expect to be standing. I was going to push on this one, and the guys wouldn't let me push. They told me they wanted me to stand, so uh, I don't have a tripod or anything or a tree stand because of that. But uh, I want to put the camera away and just get ready to see what happens and... Uh, Hopefully those guys are filming with their hat cams and all that crap when they see one.
We'll see what happens. I told them to start about five minutes ago, so they're already hopping into the stuff, but they are way back by that woods over there starting. So we'll see. There's shooting going on over there. I don't know if it was Jason or Zeke's dad or Zeke or but those guys were just unloading. I see Zeke and Zeke's dad moving. So maybe they got one down. I don't know. Need to probably stay put though, because there might be more coming. They called me. Uh, I guess uh, Zeke or Zeke's dad shot a nice buck. Nice one down. Jason called too and said it's a good one. So I can't wait to see it. Hopefully one comes this way. We are posting here, and the drive the other people, the some other people are driving, and then in fox hunting right over there, and we saw we saw about we saw a seven a, a big eight coming out of there, and then it was about right there, and it saw us, and it ran right there, and. Dad shot at it a couple times and he got it and then it fell down right there and then we ran over there and I took the gun and I finished it off. Zeke. Get over here. Hold that guy up. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Zeke! <laughs> awesome. Is it a nine or a ten? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's got his brow tines busted off. Go for them. It'll do. We did it, Zeke. Let's go, let's go over there and get ready for more. They got one coming. Not sure if I got it, but it was a coyote. Stopped moving when I shot the last shot. Had to be a big coyote, it sure sounded like a deer. I heard either Zeke or Jason shoot, and then uh, uh, Jason called me and said that they had shot, that Zeke or Zeke's dad, one of the two shot a big buck, and it went down. That was, that was and then they went over and finished it off. And then uh, I called him, told him to go back over there, and he told me on the phone, he goes, it's a pretty big buck. Yeah, so I, I, I overheard Jason yelling that, but I, I thought it was maybe on private. I wasn't yeah. entirely sure, but that was before we even started driving. I know. Okay. That's what they do. They, they jump out yeah. as soon as they yep. smell you or whatever. Some right. of them, you know, some of them wait to the last minute, some of them right away. Right, right. So, so Eric and I were pushing. I was pushing right along this body of water here, and uh, I didn't exactly know where you were, Dan, but I was going to 
I wanted to make sure I stayed tight to it because that's where a lot of the good stuff was. Tight to the river, right? Correct. Yeah. Force them this way. Yeah, Correct. Them. Yeah. Yep. So uh, as I'm moving along, I'm thinking, okay, this is starting to look pretty good. Mm -hmm. And I hear, bam, bam, bam. And I'm like, who's up in this corner? Was that somebody on private that's... That was two shots. <laughs> that was bam, you. Bam. Oh, yeah, okay. Two shots, yeah. We're going to go to the video later and find out for sure. But. Okay, it was two. That. It was two. I remember it. because I, I had my video <laughs> camera running, so it was two for sure. So was, anyway, so walk us through. I set my camera on top of a stump and turned it into record. Nice. nice. So, so walk us through what happened. So anyways, I'm sitting there and Jason yells, there's one coming at you down. Yeah. And you said something like there's one in front yep, of you. Yep, there was. And then I start hearing the grass. That's when I turned my camera on. Yep. So I start hearing the grass moving, coming towards me. And I start seeing the cattails just going and going heavy. And yeah. we get right up to the edge and it stops. So I'm ready. I'm waiting. And then all of a sudden it busts cover and it was a big coyote, maybe the biggest I've ever oh. seen. About this high. <laughs> and I put one on it over there and I missed. And when it was over here, it was like right here, and I shot and it just dropped. But there's no coyote. So obviously mm. it got into that grass was making no noise. It was it was like right at the edge of my shooting. It was like the last spot I could shoot. Okay. And when he jumped into the screen I shot. <coughs> I didn't know if I was on him, but it just went dead silent. But I think he got into that lower grass where don't make any noise because it was loud coming through here. I thought for sure it was laying here. You had me. I thought you were going to say, big rack just came right out of the cat field. <laughs> that's, what I was, that's what I was thinking too. You I'm like, well, Zeke's got me excited. Let's go see what yeah, he's got. Oh, check that out. That is a nice buck, young man. Good job. Good job, job Z. That's, you, a, that's what, the biggest one, right? Is that your biggest deer? Yours? Biggest buck? Yeah. Wow. What that's do you think of one. what do you think about it? You pretty happy? He's yeah. got really white antlers, eh? Yeah. Where did you see him come out of, Zeke? Um, right, right over there. Yeah, that, 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 that's where the does came last year, too, is yep. that patch of mm -hmm. rivers. That's why I said this side of the river was a good spot yeah. to push. Yeah, we've seen just these you gotta be flashing pretty... in the sunlight, and I'm like, holy moly. Nice so buck, man. Mm. That is great. That's what we were after this whole day, right? Yep. You got, the only, you got the only buck, the only deer of the day. Good job. Girl. Great job, man. Johnson buck. Yeah. Yep, great job. This is kind of cool because like, uh, when you think about it, all these bucks that we're shooting, you know, it's like, it, it's like I'm getting them, you're getting them, you're getting them. The group thing, it's almost like you just get to keep hunting and, yeah, you know, great. because it's a, a whole group effort, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just the hard part is getting everybody a shot at something like this. Right, right. But uh, the hunting's been uh, a lot better this year. This has just been really good, uh, you know. Uh, it, it, without a hunting. doubt, without a doubt. We've seen a we, We've been seeing the population of deer go up. I mean, uh, this is the second three-year-old we got, and uh, you had some shots at a real big one, mm -hmm. you know. This could even be a four-year-old and just doesn't have that huge of a rack because he's got an awfully big body. And the nose, yeah, he does. shape of the face. Yeah, he might even be, you know, four. That's a pretty steep slanted nose. It's a pretty good buck. That is yeah, not a pretty is. good buck. That is a great buck. You know, there's probably, you know, when you do this with me, there's probably times when you're thinking, why did I accept his offer? And then there's times when you're like, okay. <laughs> I think that every right, time. Yeah. worth it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Long trip out here. But I, I think everybody here is kind of at times wondering why the hell they're out here doing this. And then there, there's times when you're wondering, hey, you know, like, and guess what? Can I, we do this again tomorrow? I think in the parking lot there was a piece, of, just just a little piece in everybody's mind that hey, we had a long day. You know, maybe we don't do that last drive, <laughs> right? But uh, we right. we we pushed and I we mean, did even it. Yesterday we could have did one more. Who knows what would have happened? Yep. We could have pushed it and raced. Right. And right. One more done. You know. You know uh, this is so like you said, right? There's this big journey, right? This is kind of like the uh, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. No doubt. Well, I'm yeah. You're see. still looking for your first real big Correct. buck, and uh, yeah, I'd be happy as a clam with this one. And uh, Eric's regretting 
this shot maybe be over like two inches. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and I haven't even had a shot except for coyotes. Coyotes keep showing up everywhere I go. And That's now, what I was shooting at. And, and as, of, as of now, you're 50-50. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought I dropped that thing. I, I was shooting and he just went down and it got quiet. Oh, he's but you're over there, there's no coyote. He's yeah, he might have buried himself behind some grass and it looked kind of looked like he okay went down, that. but I didn't really yeah. Want to carry him yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> he was big though. He's so big, I thought it was a deer coming. Really? It he's sounded like a deer. Cattails. It sounded like a deer in the cattails. Yeah. It really he's did. He's got a big chunk out of his ear too, huh? Yeah, he's oh, a fighter. Both ears. Oh, both ears. Look at this one. Nice. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. He's got a big some wounds on the back. Yeah, of he was head. definitely he's, battling. Yeah. So, you gonna put that on the wall? Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, the yeah. widest. You hear him? He said, yeah, right yeah. away. That's the widest white tail we've seen compared to what we got. We, we don't have anything as wide as the ears. Mm. But Zeke, how does it feel? Two bucks, two states, one week. Uh, Both in states we don't live in. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. And you both start with W. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now we got to go to Washington. <laughs> 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 nice job. It's so worth it though. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. You ready for this day to end? I was ready about three hours ago, but... <laughs> you look like you were tuckered out. I was. Oh, well, that's good advertising. There's a lot of work today. <laughs> Go, Zeke! Go, Zeke! <laughs> Does he resemble that of a hunting beast? He is a beast. <laughs> He's a mini big buck serial killer. Zeke, you gotta be killing BC right now. <laughs> Zeke and his dad shot their biggest buck. Luke shot his biggest buck. Jeff Trudell shot his biggest buck. And just about everybody put meat in the freezer. I'd call that a great weekend. What's your channel all about? What's the name of it? Zeke Outdoors. Zeke Outdoors. How, how old are you when you came up with that? Five. Just about five. Well, four, but just about five. So, yeah. I used to be just an orange army hunter. Then when he was two, he found a big shed at Grandpa's farm. And I never knew there was deer that big at that farm before. So I stopped shooting the small stuff and tried to find what he found and I got my biggest buck that year and then two years later I shot the buck from that shed that he found hmm. and uh, after that me and Zeke started watching this internet show called the hunting public and the hunting beast <laughs> and this guy here was like we should start our own show <laughs> Zeke outdoors and now you're hunting with the same guy you were watching the videos of <laughs>